Ah, hello, John Longcroft Neil here. This is vlog number eight, and it's actually a Sunday evening. I like Sundays. Yeah, I think I might have said that before. Yeah, I like them a lot. This is going out on Monday morning, by the way, so there we go. Um, I've, thank you very much for those who have already commented about some of the other issues I put on my other vlogs um, to do with the terrible race um, demonstrations that have taken place all over the world. I've had a lot of comments, I'm still digesting all those. So today I'm going to talk about something totally different. In vlog number five, I wrote, wrote I spoke about um, getting old. And so today is another subject, and that's about death. Are you pleased? Are you with me? Um, I put on one of the comments, death is a messenger of joy. That is a quote from the Baha'i writings. And... It's not alone because there are other religious groups that see death as a transition to a better place, a happier place. And so that you leave behind this world of its imperfections and its suffering. And um, I think particularly if somebody's been very ill for a long time, then they die. You might well say, well, at least they're out of the suffering. Whether you believe there's a life after death or not, then you might well say, oh, good job they've out of the suffering anyway. So if somebody's lived a good and full life and it seems natural that they should die, and I say my parents both died in their 70s and my mum in their uh, 90s, then you could say, well, they had a good inning, so there you go. And the idea of the death being a joy, a messenger of joy, I'm thinking of New Orleans and a jazz band going down the front of the funeral procession. You can actually get this happen in other countries. It happens here in the UK. I've just looked on the internet and there's a, a band in Liverpool that hire themselves out as a band celebrating the life of the person that's gone, which I think is absolutely fine. It is, of course, very sad for the people who are left behind. But sometimes it's a mixed, mixed time anyway, looking back and thinking those people have gone. And it's a bit of a curious time of us thinking, well, we will die too. And indeed we will. It's the one thing we're dead sure of. Right, it says here though, that, and Baha'u'llah writes this, he says, um, not only that death is a mess and joy, but he also says the nature of the soul after death can never be described, nor is it meet and permissible to reveal its whole character to the eyes of men. Well, thank you. He won't tell us. He can't tell us, he says. And then he also says this, and this is what we're going to dwell on. Uh, the world beyond is as different from this world as this world is different from that of the child while still in the womb of its mother. Which means, let, dare I say, we've been through this transition already. We lived in our mother's womb for nine months and we were growing arms and legs and lungs and whatever. And we didn't need them. And then we went through a transition into this physical world where we use those things. If you've spoken to that baby inside the mother and said, Oi, when you get out here, when you come through this b barrier of being born, which is a terrific thing because medically you do all weird stuff when, you, when you're born, it's fantastic out here. And so when we're here, we have to learn and grow the spiritual things so that we're ready for the next life. And so um, we learn to be better people, basically, more truthful, more honest, more loving, more caring, and so on. So we develop those special spiritual qualities so that when we move on to a place which is devoid of time and space, well, that's, how can you explain what that is? It, it, it is, it's a bit unbelievable, but there again, that's what it says. So, yeah, I, we don't know. Death is a messenger of joy. Fascinating, fascinating. There's a lot more written about that as well. So that's why I put in that comment, death being a messenger of joy. So um, thank you for watching this. Um, and if you'd like to comment, that's fine. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, suggest some of the points of topic that you might want to um, get thrown at you. Right? Okay. Here we go. Bye.